Injury wise, Spears left with a hamstring, did not return. Uh, he's the only significant injury uh, that did not return to the game at any point. So uh, we'll monitor that and see where he's at uh, next week. Uh, start a story of the game, kind of had penalties at critical times. Um, you know, had to get off the field in some of those spots to, to create some plays, and we weren't able to. Um, you know, we had three and out on offense or two, that too many. I mean, we had we had some couple couple really nice drives and a couple of ones that didn't do much. Um, you know, we didn't really eliminate the chunk plays. It had a few uh, that we were trying to get rid of. Positive side, ran the ball well. Um, the run defense was good. Uh, first interception we got of the game, we went down and scored seven points, so we flipped it on that one, which was good to see. And then. Um, you know, we had two really, really, really good drives on offense, but not enough. You know, at the end of the day, just didn't make enough plays when we had to make plays, particularly down the stretch in the fourth quarter when uh, we needed something to happen and we couldn't get anything going. So um, frustrating. I, th I still think we're uh, we're better than what our record says we are, but we also aren't aren't making enough plays to win tight games, and uh, we got to find a way to do that. And I got to find a way to help us get there because right now losing games at, at one score games is is tough. And um, you know, we're in the mix and we're fighting, and guys play hard as hell. Uh, but right now, we're not doing enough to win the games, and uh, that's why we, we've only won one. So. Can you walk us through the decision to uh, find on fourth and seven there at the end of the game? The fourth and seven at the end of the game. Uh, we were going to turbo punt and try to see. It was only a three-point game, so we tried to turbo punt, um, get the ball back. Uh, if you get a stop, then you're going to have you know a little bit of time left to try to manage a field goal or drive out of it. So that was the thought. Fourth and seven. Uh, would have been a tough conversion for us. And, and we thought if we could, our defense was be able to put us in a decent position to get the ball back um, and try to get in the field goal range. That was the rationale behind it. You targeted Ridley eight times. He didn't catch a single ball today. Yeah. Can you win without him being involved in the offense? Uh, no, we can't. Uh, we can't win like that. And, and you know, it's a, I'm sure he, he'll be the first one to tell you that it was disappointing. But he's, you know, he's one of our best players. And, and he's, you know, we, we looked to him to try to make a play or two. And we didn't get it done at the end of the game. And, um, yeah, we just it's we got to be better all the way around offensively. We just don't have enough consistency from series to series. Um, we do a lot of things well, and then we you know we we stall, and then we do some more things well, and then we stall. And so I, I got to figure out the best way to to get us out of those slumps, to get us a little more consistent, so we can put together more scoring drives. Because again, 17 points a game is is not going to you know it's not going to win you many games in the NFL at this point. On the, on the What's happening specifically with him? Uh, I can't comment on anything, say anything specific. I mean, there's nothing that would have let me believe that he would have had no catches in the game um, or whatever ended up being or eight targets. I, I don't know the stats off the top of my head, but um, yeah, I wouldn't have expected that. So uh, there's nothing I can point to at this point. On the, on the pick, did the ball just end up hanging, hanging up there for too long? Yeah, the ball hung. We, we, we had a little bit of pressure, but I, I thought that if we got it up a, a touch quicker, we would have had a shot. Um, I knew they were going to be in a, a man coverage on that get back on track spot. It's what they had done earlier and, and try to take a shot to Ridley. Uh, just wasn't timed out right, and then the ball kind of hung up. And um, again, didn't didn't kill us, but it lost us time. You know, it didn't, didn't wasn't a um, a scoring player or anything like that. But but it didn't give us a chance to you know try to go win the game. We lost a, we lost some time off that drive. With the Are lack of success in the passing game, like how much does that force you to be a little more conservative? And how can you get out of that and, and find a way to get levels? You know, yeah, that's that's my job. I got to figure that out because right now you, we're not we're running the ball well. Um, but as you can see, that even running the ball well doesn't doesn't give you enough. You got to be able to throw it. Um, and throw with some efficiency, and, and we've not done a good enough job of that, and that ultimately is, uh, is on me. That's my job, and um, i got to find ways to put guys in better position, got to find things that we can execute better than we have, um, and that's really all there is to it. you, you got to be able to throw the ball in the NFL to win, and that's, that's bottom line. I mean, you can run the ball really well, uh, and we do. We do that well, um, but we we got to find ways when the game's tight, and we got to throw it to, to make enough plays to give us a chance to win the game. So you will admit that the struggles of passing the ball is forcing it to be a bit more conservative? Yeah, I think we tried to lean into our strength, which right now is, is running the football. Um, we did a lot of that throughout the course of the game. We ran the ball well, um, try to do what we do well, and then try to pick our spots to go throw it. And um, as of right now, again, we're just, you know, we're, we're a one win football team. Nothing really is good enough at this point. So, was, was it something more that the Colts were doing, or was it by design? It seemed like all the throws until you got desperate there on the last drives at the end were shorter by design. There weren't very many inter intermediate uh, throws that, you know, could maybe move the chain. Yeah, we had a couple. I called a couple of deeper shots. You know, they they pressured a few of them. Um, but yeah, I, I mixed it up relatively well. I tried to make sure we were trying to get the ball in guys' hands. Um, you know, they were they they do. It's it is what it is. I mean, I I called quite a bit of different things, and and some of them worked, some didn't. Did Hart said this week for, for Will? Do you, do you still remain committed to him? I do. Yeah. 
Yeah, I thought, I mean, outside of the, that turnover, I thought he did a nice job with the game. Um, you know, I thought we, we, we need to make some help him, we need more help around him. Guys need to make more plays for him uh, when he puts the ball in certain spots. And I think we just didn't do a good enough job of that today. Denard says this week that, that Legarius is the best cornerback in the league. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like he looked like the best cornerback in the league today? Uh, I, don't, I don't need to comment on that. I think Legarius is a really good football player, and I'm glad we have him. Um, you know, Michael Pierce has beat a lot of guys on go ball so far this season. And, um, you know, that one, there was, a, there was one jump ball and it was one down the sideline. It got called for a PI, but um, I'm glad we have him. He's a really good football player. Nicholas Westbrook's teammate caught his own a touchdown on his only target for the game. Mm -hmm. you know, do you like think of getting him more involved in offense to put those weapons that you mentioned around with? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's a consistent player. There's, there's room for, for him to get some action. I mean, he, he plays quite a bit, but... Um, you know, there's some passes called that may not get go to him and all that, but um, yeah, I mean, he can help us for sure. So, any way they can help us, I'm, I'm all for. Brian, the, the lack of explosive plays, do you put that on what defenses are doing, what that you're not doing as an offense, and how much is it hurting you when you're having to be 14 to get to play your offense? Yeah, it's not really a overall sustainable way to play. I mean, it's not that it's not for lack of effort. Um, there's, there's plays that, that are called that take advantage of deep shots, and sometimes you don't have them. Uh, but, but we got to find ways to be more explosive in the pass game in general because uh, it's all the same thing. The explosive plays is what wins in this league, and, and we're not doing a good enough job of uh, finding them, hitting them, calling them, however you want to say it. Uh, it doesn't really matter where the blame is placed. We just got to do a better job of it, and um, it's ultimately on me to do. So. What's the sense of urgency like at 1-4, and how would you feel like you better get things fixed? Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't think our sense of urgency has dipped at all. I mean, we <laughs> – uh, you know, I, it, our team's competitive. They play hard, um, and we got to find ways to make plays when it matters to win the game. Which, you know, through through the Chicago game, through the this Indy game, through the um, Jets game, we, we didn't make the plays that uh, any part of the game to give us a chance to actually win the football game. And so, um, our urgency has been high since we started. I don't think I've ever felt a dip in it, and we just have to keep going. I mean, there's there's we got a lot of games to play and then we got to keep rolling. The next one's coming right at us again. So we got to go play some good football teams and um, we got to find ways to, to get better. So you so on, on the, the, the sideline judge uh, on the non-PI call for Hopkins. What, what was the explanation there? Yeah, I mean, you guys know that I, I can't, you know, I, I didn't agree with a, a lot of the things that got called in this but game, but the uh, they, did, they, they don't give a lot of explanation. They just said he didn't see it the way I saw it and that's what it is. So. Uh, there's nothing I can do about those, um, and uh, I can't really comment on them, I, even though I, I, I'd like to, but I can't. Are guys getting enough separation in the pass game uh, to, for the quarterback to be able to make on-target throws? Um, I, th I think so. I think at times, again, probably nothing that we're doing is, is probably at the level it needs to be. So, um, yeah, I think there's times when it is. I mean, we're, we try to help guys get open and try to manufacture separation and do all the things to help them. Um, Keep finding ways to do that, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't feel like we lack separation necessarily. I just, I just don't think we've we've had enough plays made. Who is responsible for the illegal formation on the kickoff, and how is that penalty humanly possible? I, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I didn't I didn't see the where the penalty was. Um, I didn't see a replay or anything like that, and then the picture didn't look like there was a penalty. So, again, I, I don't know. That's that's it's ultimately my responsibility. So, I, I no surprising. Yeah, he's a very good player. Um, you know, they, they Denard does a good job mixing the coverage schemes, and, and they found some – they just found every which way they could to get him the ball because he's great with it. So they, they found some bubbles, and they found some underneath stuff, and that's sort of what he does. And um, he's really good after the catch and with the ball in his hand. So um, he just had a, a – felt like a high volume of targets uh, with, with quick throws that um, over time add up a little bit. Well, what were some of the, the reasons you think the last several di uh, drives there you guys didn't have too much production? What, what were some of the reasons? Um, you know, I think just across the board, we just need all of us to play at a higher level. Um, I think at all position groups, we can step up and say and admit of things we could have done better on that drive. Could have been a little more accurate in a couple of those throws to hop. He knows he can make those plays. That line can handle it. Uh, get a little more push on that duo call in the third and short. Um, and the, those guys who had opportunities, they know they can make those plays. So it's just, I mean, I got to look internally what I can do better, but everyone you know, has to do the same, and we know that we can be better than what we put out there. Uh, the offensive line looked like it kept you pretty clean for most of the game. Was it easier for you to operate with that kind of time? I felt good, yeah. I felt like I had the time to, to see things through. Um, 
another thing to critique myself, I'd say there were a couple times where you know, I got out, got a few yards, protect myself, get down. But if I were to just trust the protection and get to that backside of the progression, had a couple completions there. So, um, you know, they did a great job giving me time. Um, did I did I get sacked? I don't no. Know. no. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's awesome. Um, you know, was able to play on time, see things clearly. They did a good job mixing up the coverages and um, giving us different looks. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, we just got to make more plays, and we know that's a game we can win. Why is it that frustrating, Willis, these games is a whole lot harder to be had, and guys not able to make plays when you need to? Is that the toughest thing about it? I mean, that's the NFL. That's how it's going to be. It's just about giving your team a chance to win in the last. 5% of the game, and we've had three of those games, and we haven't won any of them. So we got to start figuring out how to score some points in the fourth quarter. And um, that it starts with all of us. We can't point any fingers, and we got to just look inside and what we can do better to put ourselves in a better position. But, you know, we can't have the performances we've had in the fourth quarter if we expect to be, you know, a playoff football team. So why has it been so hard to, for you and Calvin to get on the same page consistently? It was a rough day all around for him today, 0 for 8. Yeah, no, I mean, we just got to keep working. I trust him. You know, we, we've gotten so far from where we started, and I, I have a great feel for where he's going to be. He knows he can make a couple of those plays. I know I can put the ball in a little better spot and make it easier on him. Um, but, yeah, I got to I gotta do what I can do to, to get him better, and he's just got to stay positive and trust that this relationship is going to continue to develop because um, I know it will. And I know it's been aggravating and frustrating, and, and you know, it's, it's been one of those things where, like, when's it going to happen, when's it going to happen? And that's just kind of the feel of the whole team right now. Like, we thought this was a moment for us to kind of flip that switch and get it started. And obviously, you know, we, we're going to have to keep fighting. But um, that's all we can do is just keep working and, and trusting and loving in each other. On a pick wheel, did you, did you feel like you maybe just wound up putting too much air under it on that? Uh, yeah, I think I could have given myself some more depth away. Um, you know, Peter came up, told me if he got a little push, but, you know, I, I, I can't let that be the reason for a, a pick. But uh, that was one of the throws today where I kind of felt the lack of arm strength or whatever, where I feel like on you know, a healthier day, I'm putting a better ball on it on more of a line. So it's frustrating. We were able to get the ball back and still make, get an opportunity after that where, where we didn't didn't make it work. But, yes, uh, that's, that's a throw I'd like to have back for sure. What do you mean? I'm just uh, I'm just throwing the ball to who I think it should be thrown to. Like I don't. It's, there's no like quick game emphasis. There's no hey, we're just trying to get the ball out here. I'm just we have plays dialed up, and I'm just throwing it to who I feel like uh, you know is the right one to throw to. And there were a couple times today where I did have a couple of those quicker throws that I just took, and we went back and looked at it. And if I would have progressed backside, we would have had something. But I mean, the first time you bypass that first throw and get back to that, then it's, you know, it's a sack and why didn't you take the first one, you know? So it's, it's playing that game. There's, there's times to know when we can really hunt up something, you know, in the you know, second, third, fourth part of a, of a progression, but I'm just trusting what I see, um, trying to make the throws when they're there. On the touchdown, on the touchdown pass, did, what kind of, did you check out of a run or another pass to get there? Does it, could you change the formation before you went to Nick? Uh, yeah, we're just trying to dress it up a little bit. You know, we obviously, um, you know, Nick out there is, does a lot of great stuff for us, and we like to use him in different ways, and he gets rewarded with stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that was part of the play call, just doing, just dressing it up a little bit, um, trying to show that bubble. Um, that was pretty sweet. Dial it up just how we, how we thought it would be. Well, there might have been a, it seems like the high on the one pass to DeAndre there late. Did you, what did you see? Uh, I thought he got pulled down a little bit, yeah. But, you know, we can't point fingers at the refs. I, you know, I think everyone in the stadium had some – Know, frustrating frustrations about the officiating, but it's never something that we can blame, and we can only look at what we can do better ourselves. Um, <laughs> yeah, would have loved to have the call, but you know, can't do anything about it. Well, it seems like the team, the highs are very high, the lows are very low. Is it a way that you, as the quarterback, can manage that and kind of rally the team around you? Yeah, I think the biggest thing now is just keep coming to work, being the same person. We can't allow you know the mistakes of the past affect our work ethic and our our mental. Um, you know, I had to look at myself the last couple of weeks. I think I, coming after, off that Monday night game with the injury, and um, I had a slight dip in my uh, behavior, I'd say, or just uh, I had to pick myself back up. And, you know, just having that just kind of bring yourself back to reality, like what it takes. We got, you know, at least 13 straight more weeks of this stuff. Uh, we, we can't let up at all if we want to have a chance to win these games. So um, we have, the right, have to have the right mindset. I'm going to come in tomorrow, you know, the same person uh, as I would have if, if we won today. And everyone else has got to do the same thing. Did you get to the point where you felt good at the end of the week? Felt 
sync to that, or still work to do to kind of build back up? Uh, I'm still working. I uh, you know not 100% uh, physically, but just working to get there eventually. And but I know, uh, you know, based on my performance today, that I'm able to go out and win games. Uh, even though we didn't win today, but I know I can, you know, play quarterback in this state. With the, the coach, some of them said like the play calling is trying to gear you into a game manager or a situational manager type of role. How do you feel that transition is going? And do you feel like it's kind of making it tougher for you to play in a position? Uh, no, I think it's 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 made me better at the position. I think I'm seeing things well. Um, I think the more that I get reps in this offense, the more I'll know when I can see when those bigger plays are there, where I can start bypassing some of those first or second reads. Um, and that's just that, you know, that comes with reps and that comes with trusting the coverage that you see and the space that you see. Um, and yeah, I just uh, hope to get there, you know, in these next few weeks once we get into the meat of the season and hopefully we can just get this thing rolling uh, here pretty soon.